Financial crime erodes both the financial sector and society as a whole. The United Nations estimates that criminals launder up to £1.6 trillion annually, amounting to as much as 5% of the global GDP. To combat criminal profiteering, Symphony AI arms financial institutions with innovative and responsible AI technologies that spot financial crime risks and patterns early, shut down these threats and prevent these crimes from repeating themselves. With UK consumers losing £580 million to criminals in the first half of 2023, it's no surprise that anti-money laundering technology spend will grow by 12.5% over the year. At a recent financial crime summit in London, 92% of banks said AI would revolutionise the way they manage financial crime within a decade with 84% of banks either using or evaluating the use of AI in their financial crime programs today. We're really fortunate to be able to leverage 10 plus years of AI research at Symphony AI and combining that with 20 plus years of anti-financial crime solution software to the industry, it puts us in a great position to be able to bring some of the innovation, particularly what we're seeing around generative AI at the moment, into how financial institutions are really making a difference, how they are getting rapid results in dealing with preventing and detecting money laundering. Criminals are constantly changing their tactics and methods. These recent innovations in predictive and generative AI help financial institutions stay one step ahead of money laundering and other economic crimes. What we're seeing is the advancements in predictive AI and generative AI are making that much more realistic in terms of detecting it faster, spotting it and being able to shut it down and report things off to financial investigation units, law enforcement, who can actually make a bigger impact and stop some of that crime from continuing. As the first software company to release a generative AI co-pilot to help fight financial crime, Symphony AI is mindful of the requirements for responsible AI. We're quite lucky to have worked with Microsoft and we certainly use their principles around responsible AI in helping us how we develop, how we code, how we understand the large language models, the data sets that we use and being able to integrate that within a safe sort of way to operate and govern what the development process is, but also how we ensure what some of the outcomes are going to look like. We tend to look at uh, responsible AI in the facets of our framework which is around ac accountability, data privacy and security, uh, stability. So I think the important thing for us, though, is how you, in effect, enable the delivery of that framework rather than the recommendations uh, from a theological or theoretical point of view. Symphony AI is, is one of our critical partners in ensuring that financial crime is something that we tackle and address as part of a growing encumbrancement of um, artificial intelligence to support conversational activities with customers. So what we're using here is the concept of generative AI, which you might be familiar with from applications like ChatGPT, but we're using it here in a very specific context, which is investigations within the financial crime space. So we're latching onto this incredibly powerful new AI technology in order to be able to help investigators conduct research and analytics much more quickly and much more effectively. And this is something that can have really, really significant impact in the space. Banks all over the world are finding they have common ground in challenging the scourge of financial crime, with AI offering flexible, powerful solutions. There are things that, that the human brain struggles with, and that's where data and AI play a significant role in, in, in helping us and assisting us. Um, large volumes of data, complex patterns, um, behavioural aspects that you can't observe, um, making connections, those are the type of things that come easy for, for AI and data techniques. Whether we're in the Nordic countries or whether we're in Europe, the challenges are common and the solutions around AI and data tools are also effective across the board. The other spin-off, um, because we're in a bank, we are heavily regulated, so uh, in terms of our obligation as a bank to to make sure that we, we play our role as a bank in, in finding, stopping, detecting and reporting on, on financial crime. It also makes us more effective there. So there's a, there's a real payoff from a, from a regulatory point of view. There's a real contribution to, um, to limit the impact on the victims of crimes. 
Symphony AI is keen to stress that their co-pilot technology is an aid to humans, not a replacement. This is not about where AI takes over. It's about how we integrate it and use it to assist us in the overall way that these practices and these systems and these innovations really do come together. As we move forward, we'll continue to develop the use of co-pilots. We'll continue to develop really interesting, dynamic ways that large language models and large action models can work together on the predictive side, but also how they can help with utilising information and intelligent sharing across the financial community.